protesting and instead of dialoguing of, uh, with them, the police used violence. Hmm. Do you believe uh, that woman uh, Fadia slapped him in the face? Do you think this I is important? Know. I don't know. I heard many versions. Mm -hmm. I went to Sidi Bouzid and I discussed with many people. I did. Yeah. So everyone is telling his own story, his own version. And yeah. I wasn't there, so I can't tell. Yeah. Yeah, I had the same sensation because I also yeah. went there and uh, yeah. Yeah, I met uh, some people who said that they are the friends of Mohammed Bouazizi mm -hmm. and they, that they were present when everything happened. But I heard many versions. Yeah. Did you talk with Fedya? Yeah. And uh, what did I she said. say? Well, <laughs> did she I, I met Fedya him? twice already yes. and the first time my, my idea was uh, to, to give her some voice and to listen what she had to say yes. because of that because uh, there are so many versions in, uh, in Sidi Bouzid that I was curious about the, yeah what, what does yeah. that woman have to say and then I went there to, to her and, uh, and uh, I just published exactly what she said which is like <laughs> she never slapped him in the face and they had this uh, argument about uh, while well, she was I confiscating know. the product yeah, uh, at the beginning she, they said that he was a graduate yeah, yeah, he wasn't. And so, yeah. yeah, so many so, things, yeah. So many versions. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. true. Uh, would you read that? Just some bits, not the whole thing. Which? Uh, the well, I, I the ones sure. in green? Or? Yeah, the ones in green. Well, this is a... Uh, and I'll, I'll tell you what these are, yeah? This is uh, the, 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 the Time magazine, the last yes, edition. Yes, yes, I, yeah? am, I am in this. I know. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, yeah, if you could. Uh, just a second, yeah? I'll just change okay. something here. Where am I supposed to start? With Mohammed Bazizi? Yeah, just, just what it's uh, highlighted. Just a second, yeah. Yeah, but shall I read on um, the protester once again became... Uh, yeah. Okay. Just a sec. Yeah, you can read on. Okay. And the protester once again became a maker of history. Mohamed Wazizi lived in the charmous Tunisian town of Sidi Bouzid, 125 miles south of Tunis. On a Friday morning, almost exactly a year ago, he set out for work selling produce from a cart. Police had hassled Wazizi routinely for years. His family says finding him, making him jump through bureaucratic hoops. On December the 17th, 2010, <coughs> the cops started giving him grief yet again. She confiscated his scale and allegedly slapped him. <coughs> he walked straight to the provincial capital building to complain and got no response. At the gate, he drenched himself in pain thinner and lit a match. My son set himself on fire for dignity, Manubia Bazizi told me when I visited her. Sorry, can yeah. I 